what's up guys? Today's a new day. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're being productive, working towards your goals, and absolutely crushing it. Well, uh, that's the first time this camera's been dropped. That's number one. Well, actually, the other camera got dropped way worse, so we should be good. Yo, guys, I have not figured out what I'm going to film yet today. I got all my editing done, though, super early. So, like, it is only, like, 10 o'clock right now. I've got everything done. I've been up since 6. I edited the video. It took a very long time to edit the video because I tried to do, like, a really cool edit, and that was what I filmed yesterday while I was making this selfie stick right here. This, this one right here. So, it seems to be working pretty well so far. I've got the wrong case on it for actually talking with it because I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, it's super annoying. It's raining. That is lovely. Oh, God. Oh, boy, it's a joyous life. So uh, I guess we're gonna put the waterproof thingy on here. We're gonna go to Tim Hortons and we're we're gonna get some food and we're gonna go to school. I'm gonna make another one of those like flaps for my bike so that I don't get my butt wet. That then we'll go. So I'll just I'll just see you on the way. Guys, that didn't work, like, oh my gosh. This didn't work at all. And uh, my butt is completely wet. Does it, does it look like it? It is, like I can feel it. It's definitely, these jeans are a lighter shade of blue usually. So I'm home now, I was just at school, I thought, you know, let's make something. Ah, this door is open! Noise! So I thought I'd make something, here we are, it is... Art? I was gonna make like a little lamp, but then I decided I don't really want to wire anything today, and I kind of want to just get it finished, so I made a little thing. I made, it's like this live edge piece of walnut, it's super smooth, I think it looks pretty cool. 
with these like driftwood looking pieces of cherry that I carved out myself. Kind of just took the way that the grain went. This looks really pretty and it's super smooth. I'm just gonna hit this up with some salad bowl finish, which is mineral oil and then some beeswax. And this thing is like good and done. I'm gonna put it on my Etsy page. Tell me about the title of this video. Why, why did I click on this? I wanna know how to make $150 in 30 minutes make stuff like honestly like I'd throw this on Etsy and you'd put 150 bucks on it and everybody's like why would you do that people will buy a lot of stuff on Etsy especially if it's like super ridiculously priced because they think that that it's good now I'm not saying that this is or isn't worth $150 like it really depends like if somebody really wants it and they're like hey I want something that's made by Dylan Taylor well then this is what it is. You know, the other way to, to justify this is somebody's looking for something that looks exactly like this. This is the thing that they've been looking for forever for their mantle and you know, they're like, oh my gosh, it's like the three different the heights, like it's perfect. Somebody is looking for this exact thing because it's handmade and it's different. So you can most certainly sell this for $150. It might take you a while, depending on what your shop looks like and depending on you've sold, like you've put it up there. But I'm gonna throw this on Etsy for 150 Canadian dollars, and if somebody buys it, somebody does. If they don't, oops, it cost me 20 cents to put it up there. And eventually, someday, this will sell. Eventually. It's bound to happen, no matter who you are or what you're selling. It's going to sell. Eventually. There we go. Right there. Just gonna hit it up with the salad bowl finish, and that's literally how you do it, guys. If you have a shop and you're just tinkering around, I cannot stress enough how much you should get an Etsy store, because if you're making stuff like this and you're just like, I, I like to make stuff, could be selling it. Like, you just go ahead, take a few pictures of this, like, be like, boom, 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 done. Post those on Etsy, add 10 tags, add another 14 tags, write a little description, that's it. And then you put your price on it and you're shipping. It's got a little bit of a setup to it. There's a little bit to set it up, but once it's set up, man, is it is it the greatest thing ever? Because you could just make things. You know, it's great because today I just felt like making something. I had no idea what I wanted to make. I saw this cool piece of wood, I'm like, this could be something cool. I just started sanding it because that's usually what I like to do. I like to sand a piece of wood down super smooth. And then I let the piece of wood tell me what it wants to be. This piece of wood happened to match up great with a piece of rough sawn cherry that couldn't be used for anything else. And I had a chisel and a ball peen hammer and the rest is history. That's basically what I made the whole thing with other than I drilled two holes with this and used some super glue. There you go. So I guess the moral of this story is, is if you guys make stuff for fun, just put it on the internet to sell it. Because if it sells, woohoo, you just made some money. If it doesn't, you took a little bit more time making something and you still have the thing. But as soon as one of them does sell, it makes it worth it. So there'll be a link in the description to this video if somebody wants to pick this thing up. Eh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Help Dylan out? Hey, get the car back on the road, you know what I'm saying? Cop some merch. This is for sale too, guys. I hand make these. The ones that you guys get won't have this stain on them. This is just my prototype shirt. Eh? 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 What about the merch? The merch? The merch? I can't shamelessly self-promote like that. Yo, guys, if you guys want, I make these by hand. Obviously, the ones you guys buy won't have the red stain on them there. Like this one right here. They will have the red in the middle. I'm liking the red better than the yellow because I've done the red and the yellow. So this is the design on the shirt. I will also be signing them in Sharpie up at the top. They are for sale on the website. Link in description. It'll say merch t-shirts. It's in all of my video descriptions. You're going back a couple videos, you can still get there. So yeah, guys, I print these all by hand by myself right here with this screen printing press. I will put a little section in here of how I actually do them. Just a real quick edit though. Before we get to that, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the video. I will let you know after that though, because, you know, I don't know. If something else happens, there's going to be part of the video. If something, if nothing else happens, then tomorrow when I'm editing this video, I'll, I'll make an outro. I love you guys. Oh.
It is super dark outside. I might be going for a bike ride, but I can't really take you guys with me because, well, you, you wouldn't see anything because it's friggin' dark. So I apologize for everybody who's really friggin' triggered that I'm just in my room talking. I'll try to do some other stuff in my room. Like, what, what do you want me to do? I'll, I'll, I will light a fire in a bowl.